Welcome to Misconceptions and Difficult Concepts in Chemistry. Today we will be touching on the drawing of ionic compounds and the ionic bonding process. So let's take for example a simple ionic compound sodium chloride. So how do we go about drawing this ionic compound sodium chloride or even the process of it forming NaCl. So first of all as usual, we must first con confirm that this is an ionic compound, metal, non-metal. So yes, this is a ionic compound. Next step, we look at the periodic table. Sodium lies in group 1 and chlorine lies in group 7. This means that sodium has 1 valence electron, chlorine has 7, chlorine has 7 valence electrons. So to form a stable compound, we follow the octet rule. So the atoms or the ions try to achieve the octet configuration. So how do we do it? It's actually quite simple. We have one electron here and we have seven over here. So the easiest is for one of them to go over to chlorine. So how do we go about drawing this? Sodium, one valence electron, plus chlorine, seven valence electrons. Depending on the question, they may ask you to draw the full electronic structure or they may ask you to draw just the valence electrons alone. So this is just the valence electrons alone or the outermost shell electrons. So we draw this transfer of electron from sodium to chlorine giving us Na plus. Sodium's next shell in has 8 electrons. Because it has lost 1 electron, it is now overall positively charged. Okay, you lose 1 negative charge, the nucleus number of protons is equal to number of electrons. So if I lose one electron, I will have one extra proton which cannot be balanced, so it's, it's positively charged. My chlorine gains the electron from sodium and takes on a negative charge. It gains one negative charge, so this is one minus. So this is the ionic bonding process for sodium chloride. Okay, so how do we go about drawing if it is a different ionic compound such as let's say sodium oxide Na2O. So over here this is NaCl, quite easy to draw. One ion, one cation, one N ion. But now in this case I have two cations and one N ion. So how do I go about drawing this? So Na2O is actually the same process. First of all, we know that sodium has one valence electron and oxygen has six valence electrons. Why six valence electrons? Because it is in group six. Okay, so in order for oxygen to have the stable octet configuration, it must have eight valence electrons. So it needs to actually gain two valence electrons from two sodium atoms. So one and two. And this gives Na plus and O minus. Two minus. And we have two of the Na plus ions, one of the O two minus ions. Remember to draw the key in, electron of sodium and electron of oxygen. Okay, so this is how you draw the ionic bonding process to form Na2O. You can apply this to any other ionic compounds, copper oxide, sodium bromide, aluminium oxide, etc, etc. Go ahead and try.